Hey there, scientists. Welcome to our quick dive into the world of atoms and chemical reactions. Today, we're exploring something super cool, the conservation of matter. We're going to learn how atoms stick around and play by the rules during chemical reactions. It's all about how the total number of atoms stays the same, even when they're rearranged. Let's break it down with some key terms. Atoms are the tiny building blocks of matter. Molecules are groups of atoms bonded together. Conservation of matter is the idea that atoms aren't created or destroyed in a chemical reaction. They're just rearranged. In a chemical reaction, the conservation of matter means that the total amount of each type of atom remains the same before and after the reaction. Nothing new is made and nothing is lost. This concept is crucial in real life. It helps us understand why we need to be careful with resources and why recycling is so important. Here's an easy example, mixing baking soda and vinegar. The atoms in both substances rearrange to form new substances, but the total number of atoms stays the same. Next, consider the reaction between hydrogen and oxygen to make water. Two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom come together to form water. The atoms are just rearranged into a new molecule. For another example, think about burning wood. The wood's atoms rearrange to form carbon dioxide, water vapor, and ash. The total number of each type of atom remains the same, showing the conservation of matter. To wrap it up, atoms are conserved in chemical reactions. The total number of atoms doesn't change, they just rearrange. This principle helps us understand and manage real-world processes like recycling and combustion. Great job today, scientists. Now you know how atoms stick around and keep the balance in reactions. Keep exploring and see the conservation of matter in action all around you.